Welcome to Chesney, South Carolina, home to Dave Steel Company's structural steel fabrication facility. Dave Steele's Chesney Fabrication Facility operates on 32 acres. You're currently standing in the receiving yard where bundles of steel from the mill arrive on trucks. Here in the receiving yard, workers visually inspect the beams, noting the size, heat number, and purchase order number on mill tags to later create a pool list. The pool list tells the material handlers which items to move to the production area. When needed, the material handlers stage the material for fabrication using forklifts to carry them to designated areas. Let's talk about fabricators. Fabricators, like Dave Steel Company, transform each structural steel member for use in buildings or bridges using drawings prepared by architects, structural engineers, and steel detailers. This process may involve shot blasting, cutting, drilling holes, shop fitting, welding, painting, and ultimately shipping the fabricated steel to the job site. There are more than 1,800 steel fabricators in the United States. Around 950 of these fabricators, providing more than 70% of all the structural steel used in the U.S., are members of the American Institute of Steel Construction. At the start of production, beams are sent to cutting. A machine measures the member to a prescribed length and then cuts it to that length. Once the structural steel members are cut to the proper length and any necessary holes, like those for bolted connections, are precisely drilled, they move on to the assembly shop for layout and fit up. Increasingly, American fabricators are using advanced robotic fabrication equipment that reduces fabrication time by as much as 75%. After steel plate is cut into the proper shape for base plates, doubler plates, stiffeners, and other detail material, the pieces are placed on a table near the robotic fabricator. A robotic arm picks up an automated scanner the operators call the doghouse. You can see why. Once the machine has scanned and identified the parts, another arm uses a strong magnet to pick up a detail piece and places it in the correct location and orientation. The machine then welds the detail piece onto the main member. In some cases, employees known as fitters will manually select the detail pieces, then fit and weld the pieces into place by hand. Once the shop work is complete, the beams make their way to the paint shop if a protective coating is needed. Here in the paint shop, the material is cleaned in a shot blaster, which you can see by the entrance. Steel shot blasting cleans the steel with abrasives, preparing the surface of the member for painting. At the end of the line, a painter coats each beam with a prescribed coating, evenly spraying paint along its length. Once the paint cures, it's time to head out into the shipping yard. Workers transport the completed beams to the shipping yard, where they will be sent out to steel erectors at job sites across the country. Where will this particular steel end its journey? In a towering New York skyscraper, of course. To learn more about Dave Steel Company, please visit davesteel.com. Check out aisc.org slash VR for more virtual reality experiences.